Hey guys, we are back in the shop and it's been a while since I have said hi on here. I was in New Mexico hunting with the Bearded Butchers and with my wife, which uh, was an amazing experience. But while I was gone, this place changed uh, quite a bit. Uh, we moved some new equipment into this building. These are Brother CNC mills. Uh, they're actually bigger than the mills that we even had before. We took the two mills that we had before and we actually moved them around the shop a bit, making room for these three machines right here. These are a couple techs that are actually from Brother, the company. They're setting these machines up right now. We're mounting equipment to them, uh, the fourth axis and all that stuff. Uh, so these things are gonna be ready to go for the processes that we have hopefully by the 1st of January. We got some filtering systems in here and then this is actually a brand new Okamoto uh, surface grinder. It's a CNC surface grinder. Uh, these guys have just been setting it up over the last couple of days and they are grinding some jaw faces to the jaws that we're gonna actually use in the mills. This thing will uh, grind to, uh, what, one ten millionth of an inch? Uh, ten millionths. Ten millionths of an inch, yeah. um, which is absolutely insane accuracy when I thought grinding to one thousandths of an inch was good. So we had to, we had to resort some things. Our, our mill is now over here that makes our sheaths. Uh, and trims out our sheath stuff. So we've definitely done kind of a reshuffle. We even added some pallet racking over here because we have now so much apparel coming in uh, for the holiday season. We needed a place to put it plus materials to make knives. So this is wild. We even had to put these uh, bollards, these, these poles here in the way of these very expensive mills because we don't need any people backing the forklift into those mills and crashing them. Huge announcement as well. Uh, we have a giant chef's knife drop coming on Tuesday of Thanksgiving week. Uh, instead of doing a Black Friday drop when you're all out shopping with families, this will be Tuesday. And then hopefully those knives will be in stock through that buying season, through that holiday season, at least into the next week after Thanksgiving. Um, but I can't promise that. Uh, it's absolutely crazy how many people are requesting those chef's knives from us. Uh, I also will be going on Fox and Friends on Fox on Friday morning after Thanksgiving, uh, which may create a little bit of a, of a rush at our website, hopefully. So what that means is hopefully you can get to our website between Tuesday and Thanksgiving and pick yourself up a chef set. Uh, I hope you guys get a chance to enjoy the holidays with your family. I hope you get a chance to get out and do some hunting. Hunting season ends Thanksgiving weekend in Montana. Uh, it's been a great season here. I love this time of year. The problem is it just doesn't last long enough. So happy Thanksgiving to you guys and travel safe to see your families. I fed the steer here. This is Ike, this is Hank, my son's 4-H steer. Um, and then we have the governor of Montana stopping by the shop today. Uh, gonna take a tour of the facility, uh, kind of show them the growth of what's happening. Uh, it's really cool for the state of Montana. Um, the manufacturing, that's actually what the state would love to see is more manufacturing businesses coming in. So uh, we're gonna give them a little tour. This is where I built custom knives for about 10 to 12 years. I, I built all the prototypes and where we started doing MKC. And you were just there. selling online? Yeah, and yeah. we still are just online. And it was amazing because it got to the point where we had like six or seven plastic tables in there with knives stacked to the ceiling. Last winter, they were freezing to death in here sharpening blades uh, in a dirt floor lean-to. Where's the Bobcats too on? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> the, uh, on Saturday, I have to re root for the state of Montana. There. <laughs> there you go. Shut the cameras off and we'll hear who he's really doing. I'm a bobcat, but when they play each other, I root for the state of Montana. Yeah. <laughs> That's my day job gets it away. Look at it. We can get another vehicle moved if we need to or two. What's going on today? Foggy morning. Uh, when when we went to build this shop, uh, I had to sell off a little, get rid of a, a, of a shed just like this one to make room for the building. And I put all the stuff that was in that shed kind of in a back room in the shop. Well, now we need that back room because we're, we're growing so fast that uh, we're pushing into every bit of space that we have. So I got a shed, uh, built a pad for it this weekend, uh, and now we're gonna drop the shed down on the new pad. Uh. 
Hey guys, um, so we are down here working on the chef sets that are going to be dropped this upcoming Tuesday. Uh, just a heads up, they are incredibly sharp. We did a little safety training meeting a few days ago and then I immediately cut myself. So be extra careful when you take them out of the package um, and remove them from the sheets. We will also be doing a giveaway of our petty. So all you have to do is like and comment on this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and uh, sign up for our email list. And this could be yours, it's great.